yeah. Hopefully this song can explain a little bit how we feel out here. So, yeah. Currently, I just wrote a short one, um, Open Sesame. It's exploring, right now in California, we're going through a marijuana debate. Is it recreational or is it medicinal? So, I wrote a song, you know, the gas prices keep getting higher. But, huh? I say what? See, they got opinions out there. Some people in the, you know, in different states say, no, ban it. We don't want it. And then you got other people who's like, they're all for it. It's all medicinal, as long as it's just medicinal. Then you got the tax naysayers and the yes sayers. So, yeah, they debate as long as I can put a seed in the ground and let it and watch it grow. Nah, they can't stop it. Anybody else, too? My life wasn't just an ordinary story like some people's. You know, I don't feel mine is just an ordinary story. My mom passed away, and then 120 days later, my grandfather. 120 days later, my grandmother. 120 days later, my youngest brother. He's a triplet who happened to be uh, Justin's best friend, who happens to run Diverse di uh, Productions. So that's how we met was through my youngest brother, who was a triplet, who passed away just, you know, just recently. So, yeah, through fate, through God. I'd like to take everybody along. If you know, if we all stick together, I hope I pray everybody sticks together and uh, the big headedness doesn't come into a, into the group, into the, the colony. We're trying to stick together and make everything work in five years. Yeah, I, I want to be on a plane somewhere drinking some wine, you know, and thinking about now today talking to you on the phone, you know. Going to a concert and enjoying the the life, not just the life of just the the shiny lights and, and brightness, but meeting people and greeting people and saying hello, world. You know, it's better than it was. You know, we have a future that nobody can take from us. See, when when Barack Obama was saying yes, we can, people have to understand he wasn't talking to the people. He was talking to that group. He was talking to his people. So we got to talk to our people. Our people are the ones who struggle every day, who need to eat, who need to feed our kids, who go to sleep cold because it's cold weather that some say the government doing, but we got to stick together. So I want to go meet and greet and show people that, yeah, we can have a good time. We can smile. Right you know, um, so it, this has been inspirational with that and in opening my mind up, uh, just kind of on a different note there, you know. But um, I just want to give props and, and um, to these kids because... Uh, there's a lot more music that I've heard you're not playing tonight, but it's, uh, it's really, really talented, and uh, I wish them a lot of luck. Hello, world. I'd like to welcome everybody to DYTV. Let me brought to you by, by uh, Diverse Productions. And I'm not your host today, but I'm here, you know, filling in for a little bit. My name is Armand, a.k.a. Pil Cosby. I'd like to let everybody know that we got a lot of fresh music coming out, a lot of fresh artists. You know, I'm high as hell right now, so stick with me for a moment. Um, right now, Diverse Productions just got off the line with uh, Serena Speaks. It was an interview, you know, to bring out new talent, new music, and let the world know that we ain't silent. We try to speak up, you know. No being quiet. We're on the front line, like soldiers, right? But it's a different kind of mission we on. We ain't killing for somebody else's funds, right? We out here making music for somebody else's fun. Right? Somebody else is enjoying it. So, um, my name is Armand, as I said. Mine is, you know, PillCosby.com or Armand Jackson at One World, uh, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. You can find me and you can find uh, Diverse Productions. So, uh, adios, amigos. You know, Diverse Productions, DT.